The perfect match for a large screen TV is a Media Center PC. Now, a Media Center PC is sort of the brains and the heart of the digital living room. It can be your main source for TV, music, video, pictures, and more, or it can be simply part of an equation of a larger system. So let's see how it all fits into our digital living room and what it does. Now, Media Center software is built into Microsoft Vista now, so every new computer has the potential to be a Media Center PC, but you do need additional hardware to take advantage of all of the features. So let's take a look at that hardware as we start looking at this Media Center PC. And one of the most important pieces of hardware is a, a tuner card so that we can actually import video from a source like our cable TV source. So what happens here is cable TV is brought in to the tuner card here which has capture capabilities. So we can then watch television, we can capture the video, and then we use our regular video card to send that information back out either to our computer display or to our large screen TV. So the video card setup of any Media Center PC is one of the most important parts of that Media Center PC. In fact, you can even get dual tuner cards so you can plug in multiple sources. There's a lot of different flexible ways of setting that up. Now the rest of the connectors on the back are pretty much standard from any PC. So let's move around to the front and take a look. We've got a whole series of connectors here in the front which are again standard computer connectors allowing us to connect outside video cameras, digital video cameras. We've got USB ports and Firewire ports allowing us to connect DV sources. So we've got standard connectors on the Media Center PC as well that normal computers have. Now a very important part of the Media Center PC is storage and we have here the HP personal media drive bay allowing us to put in a removable hard drive. Now this particular model here has a massive built-in internal hard drive. 640 gigabyte drive is built in but believe it or not that's not a huge drive when it comes to media center PCs because we will save a lot of data. TV shows, movies, sporting events, that's all going to add up very, very quickly. So having a large removable drive that's easy to put in and out and convenient, that's a great additional feature. Now as we move to the top of the computer, we see we have media card slots for getting images in from our digital cameras. And beneath that is our DVD drive. Now this is a standard uh, CD, DVD, RW with LightScribe technology, meaning that we can actually burn labels on the disc itself. But this computer is also available with a Blu-ray player and burner, which really adds again to the whole digital living room by allowing us to have then high definition DVD playing through the Blu-ray player. A Media Center PC fits into a digital living room filling in wherever it's needed. Now in some environments, there's going to be other components or other sources like PVR set-top boxes or DVD players to name just a few. The Media Center PC can replace or work with all of these components. And just like making cookies, there's no single recipe that does a perfect job. It is really going to fit in exactly where you need it. We are continuing our look at the Media Center PC and the role that it plays in our digital living room. Now the new version of the Media Center software that's a part of Vista is a significant upgrade from previous versions and I want to walk you through it right now. So we've got our Media Center PC hooked up to our Media Smart TV and it's basically just displaying the computer image right now for us. Now when we use the Media Center software we can use our keyboard and mouse as I'm doing or you can use the Media Center remote. All of the functions that I'm showing you can be accessed by remote which is the proper way of browsing through content when one is sitting on the couch. Now here we have the main interface and this is more than just viewing television and listening to music. This is an interface that allows us to access all of our information and all of our data that we stored on our computer such as photos and music but it will also allow us to access data that's out on the internet. So it's more than just a PVR, it's more than just a recording device that will record TV for us. The Media Center software will do a lot more. Let's begin with our pictures and since all of our picture library is living on our Media Center PC and we've got this beautiful gorgeous display you probably want to display your best photos on a display like this you might want a slideshow running during a dinner party or just have friends over look at the photos here's our new tractor you can do that sort of stuff with the media center software so all of your existing media your music your photos your own videos is going to be displayed very nicely through the media center pc on our large screen display and the next thing i want to show you is kind of 
how it might fit in your life. You come home from work, it's been a tough day, you feel like watching a ball game, but you don't actually know what's on TV. So we go into the sports area and we say, what's on now? Nah, I'm gonna make some dinner first. What's on later tonight? So I'll open that up and it looks out on the internet, finds all the games that are coming up and I see here, oh, look, the Canucks play a little bit later tonight. Maybe I'll watch that one there so I can plan on it, I can record it here if I want. And the neat thing about recording on this is you can start it recording, you can get dinner finished, and even if the game started, you can then start to watch the game with the PVR capabilities, and you can fast forward through the commercials to catch up to the game in real time, which is a really nice way of watching sports. Now, not just the game information, but if we go over and we look at the player information, you can go in and we can use it to track all of our favorite fantasy players. So while you're watching the game, you can see how your fantasy pool is doing. This melding of internet data and all the sort of consumable information that we want and our entertainment data, our television, our sports, our video that we like to watch, is a really important part of how the media center fits together. They also have other things on it, such as the scores. So if you want to view any of the scores out of town, we don't have any games on right now, so it's instead giving us schedules. You've got that ability to be able to access the data so you don't have to wait for the ticker to tell you the scores on out-of-town games. Again, this is really creative use of the technology, the melding of the internet and all of the different television information that's coming from our cable provider. Next thing I want to show you is in the TV and movie area, and that's the standard guide. I mean, this is, this is where we're going to use the PVR capabilities of the Media Center PC the most. You're going to see what's coming up a little bit later tonight. As you look through, you say, oh, I like that scrub show. I want to record that. I'm not going to have time to watch it. So you click record, and you know it's going to be recorded, and you can come back and watch it at any time. And if you happen to want to record the whole series, you can tell it to record the whole series so you have all the episodes of Scrubs available to you whenever you have time to watch. Now there's an additional function in here that is new that I like and that is if we move along into the search field. Now this is really creative. We can go through and we can search for TV shows and movies. We can search for actors or directors. And I'm going to show you how it works. It's just like working in Google. I like that Morgan Freeman guy. So I, as I start to type in his name, just like in Google, it comes up with a list of the actor's name. When I select him here, it's going to bring up all the movies that he's in. And it searches out on the internet. And look at how many movies it brings back for me. He's been in a lot of movies. He's been in some pretty good movies. And in looks like he's been in some pretty bad movies as well. So as you scroll along, now here's where it gets cool. Not only can you see all the movies that he's in, but you know, oh, I love the March of the Penguins. Who didn't love March of the Penguins? You know what? I'd like to have my own copy of March of the Penguins. I'd like to record it. So right here, I have the option to record it in the future. Now it's not on TV anywhere that I know of right now, but at some point, somebody's going to be displaying this on TV. So I'm going to select record in future, and then it's going to wait until it appears in TV Guide, and it's going to then record it for me. So at some point, unknown point in the future, I'm going to get my very own copy of March of the Penguins recorded onto my PVR so that I can then watch it at my leisure. I really like this feature. And again, it shows us the intelligence of adding a computer into the entire media center experience. A Media Center PC is a great flexible tool that will easily be your main interface for all of your TV, all of your video, all of your music, all of your photos for that matter. I love the control that it gives me over my media and how it interfaces with the rest of the digital living room. It really changes the way we record and view our TV. Plus, as you can see by this really creative use of the technology, it changes so many other things we do as well. Blogs, podcasts, streaming video, you can find it all on our new website. Check out dototech.com.